Wollaston Lake Lodge, Saskatchewan has become famous for providing a truly exceptional fly-in fishing experience in the far north. Many believe it to be the finest of all lodges in Canada. Here, in the heart of the wilderness, one finds attention to every detail. Fine cuisine, exceptional lodging, an experienced and attentive staff. Most fly-in trips unfold during the heart of the fishing season. This time, though, we're closing down the camp. What patterns will unfold as editor Matt Straw goes in search of trophy pike and lake trout? Good work, buddy. Now we're talking. Pretty fresh there, buddy. <laughs> you tell me. Pretty green? Pretty green. Okay. You absolutely pounded that on the pause, eh? Good suspending bait. Nice work, buddy. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Tell you what. These suspending baits are just really hot for these kind of fish this time of year. It's getting late in the summer, and uh, they're coming out, and the edges, by this time of year, they've seen everything. Yeah. They've seen everything. Everybody's throwing every kind of bait. This bait sits in their face, and when it starts to move again, there's a special trigger. Big Extreme X-Wrap slash bait, and you pause this bait. I paused it right by the boat and watched that fish come up behind it, and as soon as I twitched it again, it was all over it. Beautiful, it. beautiful fish. I'm going to get her back in, though. Great. Yeah, all get right. it back in quick. That was a heck of a nice fish there, Matt. Now, why are we fishing this area again? What is the, what's the draw? It's going to sound stupid, but it's kind of a migration route. These fish live in these, this big shallow basin all year long, and come fall time, they're getting out of here. And we're fishing just a classic pinch down. These fish are moving through and eating that bait. <laughs> I like it. There, there he is. There he is. We're just lollygagging that suspending bait back there. We spotted this fish. It came up back there, and I just left it in, in that zone where we spotted her. Looks like lollygagging around there. Looks like a heck of a fish. The bait is gone. <laughs> she engulfed it. Just nailed it. I think she liked it. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> Somewhere in her craw. Here we go. Careful, those trebles don't come out through her gills and get you there. Yeah. These suspending baits are really, really great cool water baits. The water's already cooling off, it's late in the season. And as these fish, their metabolism starts to slow down or whatever, they will react much better to that slower bait. You can slow this right down and actually stop it. Stop it in their face, and that's the key. Great. Very nice. Look at that beast. That's the kind of thing that'll eat these things. You just they love hard baits this time of year anyway. Big crankbaits, we've had some fish following big crankbaits, but right now it's a suspending bait, and this is the one we've been waiting for for years, a big suspending bait for big toothy critters like this. Gorgeous fish, gorgeous. While it's hard to leave the pike alone, even bigger fish beckon for the waters of Wollaston yeah. team with lake trout. That's a good fish. And Scott, you get it? Got it. Nice yeah, Gotcha. That's the kind of beast to come up on the reefs in the fall. It's got to get a hold of it. You ready? Yep, yep. Oh, that's a beauty. Oop, we go. 57 degree water temperatures. That's about the beginning of the range where they spawn. When you say up here at this Absolutely, latitude? Absolutely, yep. Somewhere down to about 51 degrees, they'll still be spawning. They're coming up into 12 feet of water to spawn. Tops of the reefs, rocky reefs is where they spawn. They lay their eggs in boulders and rocks. And uh, they become vulnerable this time of year. Just about to start here. Yeah. Just coming up now. Nice fish. Very nice fish. You want to do something to trigger these fish because they'll follow for a long ways. Lake trout are notorious followers. They'll get behind a bait and literally follow it for miles. The guy driving the boat should be doing something to trigger the fish by zigzagging, speeding up and slowing down, getting those baits to rise and then dive and come back up. Something to trigger the fish because when they're following like that, their steady action is not gonna trigger them to bite. Whoa, there's one. You get him? Right there. I'm gonna give you a little juice here, All buddy. right. Did you stick him? Yep. Okay, good deal. Yeah. I'm gonna clear this line. You let me know if you need me to do anything. Oh, you really crushed it. You're really starting to turn on. You, you were right about that evening bite. Time of day. A time of day thing. 
they really, they sometimes spawn at night, don't they? Absolutely. So they really start setting up late in the day. Pretty typical. How do you feel, Matt? Feels kind of heavy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's what we came for right there. There's a toad. He's still got to be green. I mean, he never took off on a real long run. Not at all. At least he's got that hook buried. He's got the rod butt buried in my stomach, too. <laughs> Come on. It's a great big fish. A great big fish, buddy. All right, here it comes. Oh, shape. There we go. God, good job. Woo, just about Ooh. done. Grab that, grab that net. He's loosening the net. Perfect. There we go. Good work, buddy. Oh, what a beast. Look, Look at that pig, buddy. Baby. Look at that pig. Come here. That, I can't that do nothing to you. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Here, <laughs> Can right. get to it? Yeah. All right, I got a grip. I had a grip. Oh. Look at that, folks. Whoa. That is a big trout. That is just a dog. Heck of a nice trout. I'll tell you what, late season, you want to see big fish like this come up into shallow water, target them in early fall up on the shield or up in northern Canada. Huge fish like this coming up the stage. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time. Beautiful oh, fish. Beautiful fish.